Hey guys, so today uh, we new, now have a new benchmark app. It is the Geekbench 3 app. Uh, so it's version 3 here that uh, has been released. You can see the icons is moving, but yeah, Geekbench 3 is well both in iOS and uh, in Android. So I do have my Galaxy S4 here, Google Edition, and 4.3. And then of course my Beta 6 here on my iPhone. There you go, superb. So we'll be doing some benchmarking here. So I'm just gonna fire up this app on both devices. I'm just gonna make sure everything else is closed. And this thing, swiping thing, I mean, Apple needs to fix this. I mean, also in Android 4.3, like the stock version here, I also have to do swiping like, why can't they just do it like in touch ways? With one button, you can just close every single thing. It's annoying to do this. Especially over here, it seems like sometimes you accidentally move when you just want to close something. <sighs> okay, maybe they can fix that in iOS 52. So um, let's fire up this app. And as you can see over here as well, Geekbench 3. Okay, so looks very, very good here inside of iOS 7 or in iOS in general. Uh, so we're gonna run the benchmark here. <laughs> I mean, come on, just looks so ugly over here. Here, very, very pretty. Very, very good looking. <laughs> Seems to be taking around the same time here. Maybe two minutes, a little bit less. One and a half minute. Mm. <laughs> oh no! Why? Why, Android? Why? Come on, man. Why don't you want to work? So you can see that, I mean, the quality of apps I mean, it can really suck on Android sometimes. Sometimes you can't even run a benchmark. Why does it suck so hard sometimes to be on Android? I mean, some apps just sucks in quality, quality-wise. <laughs> okay, that was random. Hopefully it can work this time. If not, then yeah, I suppose that sucks. Pretty cool here that we got a score of single core score and multi-core uh, score. Hopefully, don't crash. Don't crash. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> it sucks so hard. I made like a gaming comparison. No, it's stuck. I made a video like this before or comparing these two phones in gaming. Then also I had that the S4 couldn't launch a game or something and then crashed. No. <laughs> doesn't want to work. I mean, 45, it's not going to get over that. I mean, that is bad, Android. I mean, that's super bad. Come on. Please. Show them you can do it. Or else you just have to download Geekbench 2. I might already have it. I mean, I know this, this is the new Geekbench, but we can get like a general overview. Uh, should compare, it should be some new like um, tests. Doesn't seem like the S4 likes this. The S4 doesn't like to be benchmarked. Maybe he, yeah. So I'm not sure which one you should say is the winner here. I mean, clearly the S4 doesn't want to work together here. Mm -hmm. Oh, this sucks so hard. <laughs> I didn't even get the error message. Oh well, that sucks. Uh, let's fire up the other Geekbench. Geekbench 2. You can see here also that they have changed the logo. 
And I might also make an update video if they fix that in the future. Because I do know this version looks very, very similar. Um, so we can see her from the score. And at least some Geekbench score here on the S4. Interesting, we don't see the progress bar here in Geekbench 2. So single core score here, 712. This is pretty cool uh, when we will be uh, checking out single core devices. Uh, 1297. Yeah, I mean, multi-core, I think that we should, we probably would get kind of like a similar score uh, if we would have tried, if, if, if Geekbench 3 would have worked. I mean, you can see that multi-core score here, this is probably the multi-core score of around 3000 and here almost 1500. So dual the score on this quad-core 1.9 gigahertz clocked processor. And um, this one, I'm pretty sure it's just dual core. Um, so two cores, I mean, it's, it's a big difference already over there. And then of course we do have some detailed information here. Too bad though that Geekbench 3 didn't want to work here on my S4. Uh, hopefully they can fix that in the future. So just quickly a video comparing that. Yeah, have a good day.